and hello everyone welcome to another video of father and son adventures and today we're doing something a little bit different um we live in northeastern pennsylvania and uh it's very sm like every town small town blue collar uh they uh you know it's coal country uh not a lot of exciting things happen here but on uh in november of 1974 in a small town near here called carbondale pennsylvania um three boys uh age 14 at the time uh said they saw a red ball of light crash into a silt pond in carbondale near the old baseball field um they notified the police, police came, military came, uh, scuba divers went into the water. After two days, all they found was an old railroad lantern that they said was lit and somehow stayed lit underwater for nine hours and that was what was causing the green glow in the water. It lit up the pond. Um, later on, uh, you know, Multiple witnesses uh, said that the military took something out from the lake or the pond uh, that on a large flatbed truck that was covered. Uh, the first time I heard of this story was I was in my late teens, early 20s, where I worked and one of the old men that grew up there remembered exactly and he basically said the same thing that they talked about in the uh you know in the reports that i read online that he saw something being taken away on a flatbed truck that was covered i don't know how a lantern can stay lit under nine wa uh, nine hours underwater uh you know that's you know take it for what you will um one of the boys then and that obviously grown up at the time reported to the scranton times the local newspaper that they uh they were trying to scare the his sister and threw a battery sealed lantern into the water now i that's much different than a railroad lantern which they said they pulled out and they had pictures online of the uh the diver coming up with the lantern that's a very different story so like i said take it from for you know what you will but uh you know we're gonna go up there today you know it's a nice little piece of interesting history and uh, we're gonna show you the pond and uh you know neat little story uh you know for those of you that are interested in stuff like that uh, I think it's, you know, very interesting you hear the different types of reports, you know, you know, for something that like four, three boys, you know, trying to scare the sister and, you know, it seems kind of odd that they, the military would come, which they were there. Uh, so we're going to go up there today, uh, me and my son, and uh, we're going to have a cameo appearance by my daughter. Gianna <laughs> loves being on camera as you can tell uh, we're gonna go up there though today and uh, you know show you where it happened see you in a bit okay everybody here we are in Carbondale Pennsylvania there's Gino there's my daughter down there and this is the silt pond where the uh, incident reportedly happened and well, we're going to show you around. Hey, Look at the baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no. Let's <laughs> throw this rock in, Dad. And 
this is the silt pond right here. I mean, it's kind of deep. I mean, uh, there's a pathway right there that comes down and then there's another pathway back there. You know, this one right here takes you to the another pathway and then there's a gate that you go around over there. I mean, right here, it's probably about two or three feet deep when you go out a couple of feet. So, I mean, I don't know how deep it is over there. And this is in Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoyed the video and Gina. What do you have to tell them? Like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. All right. Say goodbye, Jeech. No. <laughs> Are you happy to make a cameo appearance in this? <laughs> Thanks, everybody.